Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the problems in signal propagation. So whenever the signal is going from one place to another place, so will there be any problems? So is the question, right? Yes. So there are some problems guys. So the first problem is nothing but the reflection guys. Okay. Okay. So firstly, I'll be going through the example. Then we'll be going through the theory guys. Then you'll be having a clear idea. Okay. Yes. So reflection. So let us take an example. So assume that this is the mirror guys. Okay, so if you stand in front of the mirror, you will be seeing your reflection, right? So the same concept is here also. So basically here a surface will be there, which is a going to hit back the waves which you have sent. So assume that your user is inside this. Okay, so and the waves are not that much strong and they are getting reflected guys. Okay, so in this situation, they will be hitting that particular building. You can say I'm calling that as building. So they will be reflected back. So the user will not get his particular data or signals or anything, right? So this concept of a reflecting the signals by hitting a particular surface is nothing but reflection. So this is one of the standard problem you can say in, in uh, signal propagation. So reflection of light in every day occurs. So mirrors are the common place and can be seen in houses and many places. So similarly, radio waves are similarly reflected by many surfaces like walls, mountains, different, different structures like billboards and all those things guys. Okay. So this will also lead to an issue with the signal propagation. Okay. Similarly scattering. So basically all these are concepts of light. So whatever the properties of light are there, everything will be a problem in scattering guys. Okay. So in signal propagation. Okay. So the second problem is nothing but the scattering guys. Okay. So if you recall, so the mirror surface, if it is a smooth, the reflection will be in a proper direction, right? Yes. So what if the uh, it is not in an even way? So in that situation, it will be reflecting multiple ways, right? So I don't remember exactly, but I think it's exactly in this way, right? Yes. So that concept will be calling it as a scattering, guys. Okay. So when if assume that this is a stop sign, guys. So here at this particular point, if a particular radio wave hits, so it will be dividing into multiple radio waves and it will be sending, guys. So this concept of dividing or diffusion into multiple things is nothing but scattering. So scattering is a loss of signal caused by the diffusion of the signal. So basically this signal, if the strength is previously 100, now as it is divided into three parts, it will become 33.33, 33.33, 33.33. 30, so even it is a traveling, it will reduce and at some point it will be not even active to be captured. Guys. So in that way, so basically the best example for these things are nothing but the road signs guys. So most few of the road signs will be with the curved edges, right? Or sharp edges, you can say. So those all can reflect, sorry, or scatter the particular radio wave or any kind of signal, guys. Okay. Similarly, the next is nothing but diffraction. Okay. So diffraction is nothing but this is also the concept of light only. So, okay. So this is also the concept of light only. So the same concept of scattering, if it is occurring for mountains, are really really sharp edges you can say so at that point we'll be calling it as a diffraction guys so diffraction is very much similar to scattering so signals will be deflected at an edge and propagated back okay yes so here if you observe so previously at that particular sign so let me draw it again so that you'll be having a clear idea guys okay so whenever it has a hit here so they reflected in the opposite direction right yes but in diffraction that will not happen so basically if you will be hitting at the corners guys like really corners so that the signal will continue in that direction only but it will it will be multiplied it will be sent it will be changed in some angle so basically previously it should go from in between right so it should go from here assume in that way so now it is going from above and below so in that way there will be a slight change but it will not change the direction so that is the major difference between the scattering and diffraction guys okay so continuing the next is nothing but the blocking or shadow Okay, so in this in this scenario, the thing which is obstructing it, so it might be a wall, it might be a tree, so it is observing the signal. So basically, even it might be of a power 100, so it is a directly observing the whole signal, so that even the weak signal is also not transmitted back. So this concept is called as a blocking or shadowing. Guys. So shadowing is nothing but a blocking of a receive receiver by a large object of sender. So basically that might be at the sender side or at the receiver side or in between. So at any place, if it is that, that will cause a problem. Yes. Okay. Yes. Similarly, continuing the refraction. So refraction is everyone knows it, right? So will be whenever we, we uh, 
emit the light into water it will be changing some angle and all those things right yes. so that is nothing but refraction so basically if a radio wave is going in this direction into water so from air it is going to water so in this situation instead of going straightly it will change some angle guys so this concept is nothing but refraction guys so refraction occurs because the velocity of the electromagnetic waves depends on the density of the medium so basically the water density and the air density is not same guys so that is the reason why it will bend a bit that is the main concept here okay yes so refraction is bending of the signal as it passes from one medium to another medium okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about all these issues right yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the multipath propagation also okay so if you might be saying that this is also an issue but i don't think so guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about the multipath propagation okay yes thank you thanks for watching